Hello, and welcome to Cave Story. Now, you may be asking yourself, Lincoln Six Echo, because that's my name. You may be asking yourself, Lincoln, uh, what is the difference between this cave story and this cave story? And the answer is, well, hopefully a little bit because actually I don't rightly know. Um, I saw that this was on Steam, and so I decided to get it. It's Cave Story Plus. I'll give a link in the description. Um, the graphics seem to be a lot better, and uh, from what I've seen, it looks like the they decided to get a couple more um, monsters or, or enemies or whatever. I don't know. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting into this. I haven't played Cave Story in a long time. So, it's going to be kind of a new experience for me as well. I did a um, Let's Play of it a little bit earlier on in the year. Um, so this is going to be a full walkthrough. And so, let's, let's get it going. Um, start on a new... Original, yeah, original difficulty. Why not? Start game. Someone's transmission. Connecting to network. Logged on. Starting I am chat. Zuma. Sue? Are you there? It's me. It's Kazuma. I was somehow able to escape, but I got lost. I'm in a shelter without anything inside. If you're reading this, please answer. Please? Alright, well, so this is where we're starting. Uh, might as well save the game. Oh. Okay. Yes, I do want to save the game. Thank you. Okay. Like I said before, I believe this game came out in 2004. But I... Oh. Oh. That was bad. Alright, don't want to die in the first cave. That would be embarrassing. Jump. Yeah, so they completely re remastered this uh, this game. It looks a lot better now. I have in the sound options. Oh, someone's transmission. I'm sorry, I haven't been reading these. Searching for Sue. One Sue found. Answer me. They're looking for you. Are you asleep or what? Your brother is so lonely. Okay, so now I have the Polar Star. Polar Star. Your very first gun. It carries the mark of the Northern Star, which apparently is the Polar Star. Yeah, in the audio options in this game, you can have the original soundtrack or the remastered soundtrack or the new soundtrack and as I said before in the the first time that I did this uh, the weapons upgrade with these little experience nachos that the enemies uh, drop and they downgrade depending on how much uh, damage you take so it's an interesting uh, game mechanic that they set up with this where you have to be careful how much damage you take. Not only does it, you know, shorten your life expectancy, but it also makes your weapons uh, not as effective. There we go, and we level up to the level 2. Come on, Sue. Type something, will you? Starving over here. I'm so hungry that, that I even ate a cockroach. Lol, just kidding. But just so you know, if I get to that point, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, silly. Give me the key. No way! Are you trying to protect that Sue girl? She's an outsider. Sue is a good person. I won't betray Sue. Toroko. The next time that the doctor 
shows up, someone else will be taken away. Well, that's usually how the doctor works. I mean, he always needs a sidekick. If Sue isn't turned in, you could be in danger. But, but... Just hand over the key. I forgot what I was saying. Anyways. Da, 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 da. What? You're not an enemy? I thought you were one of them. Da, da, da. My name is King. I'm the number one in this village. Though I say number one, it doesn't really mean much. There are only six of us left in the village. Well, really. Including Sue, it's seven. But she's not one of us. She's just an outsider that came into our village. Anything else to say, King? That Toroko. She took advantage of the com commotion and escaped. Another save station here. Is that what this says? Yes. My life is filled, and I do want to save. Okay. Another thing that's different in this upgrade of Cave Story Plus is that um, the well, the translation is a little bit more. Uh, if you want to say modern, I suppose you could say. Hello, Chinfish. Sue? Yeah, Sue. That cute girl who's always hiding inside Arthur's house. She recently came to Miminga Village. She fell into the reservoir there. I don't think she's very fond of us. Seems like she hates everyone in the village. But she's a Miminga. Same as the rest of us. I keep saying Miminga, right? There's no end there. Okay, okay. Don't wanna die. But I do wanna oh, I do wanna kill this chin fish. Ah. Okay, obtain the silver locket. And now to leave before shape of a fish. From the wear on it, the locket must have been dear to someone for many years. Thank you. Thank you. Hand over that key. No! <laughs> Whoop. That wasn't very nice of you, Sue. Or whatever your name is. Arrgh! Taroko, that's what you're don't underestimate me, King said as lying on the floor. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. You go back up here. You need to go back up here. Hello. Mmm, gulp. Yeah. Jeez, you scared me. Sue? Oh, you mean the girl staying at Arthur's house, right? She lives together with Toroko. That girl's a real cutie. She must be looking for flying dragons. Wonder if there really is such a thing. Dragons that fly in the sky. Why would you assume that one would be looking for flying dragons? That's kind of a large assumption. Let's save real quick. I said you. I'm a compulsive saver. Just, just saying. What do you have to say? The name's Jack. I'm number two in the village. Beyond here is the Maminga Cemetery. Over our hero Arthur, or there our hero Arthur rests eternally in peace. What am I doing here? Mushrooms have taken over Maminga Cemetery, so I'm keeping watch to make certain that they don't come into the village. Thank you, Jack. Yeah, okay, yep, thank you, Jack. Yep, thank you, Jack. I know this, Jack. I, I'm fully aware of what you're doing. Just wanted to see if you had anything else to say. Name's 
below in the fireplace. There's something on the other side. I wonder what that is. I do actually know, by the way. I'm not gonna give away any secrets. I'm not into spoilers. Life pot. This gets me up to... 11? No, 9. Okay, close. Not really. Come on. Okay. And when we talk to this person... This is the farm where we grow flowers. My job is to protect this farm. To us Mamiga, these flowers are a precious source of food. But not the red flowers. I heard that if we eat the red flowers, our blood pressure skyrockets, and we'll die in an instant. Fortunately, on this farm, we don't grow the, those vile red flowers. That's a good thing. Alright, let's go back all the way down. Oh yeah, I need the, uh... I remember on in the last version of this game, the map was crap. It was not very, a very decent map at all. Let's see how this one, this one uh, compares to that. Open the treasure chest. Obtain the map system. Something's written. So long as you always maintain a sense of exploration, you will someday find the way out. This is my hope. Alright. Oh man, it's the same size. Why would they do that? Whatever. Well. Shaq, thank you. You jerk! Wow! Oh, help me, help me! Uh. You're not the doctor? Oh, sorry about that. The doctor is such a cruel and evil person. He shows up in the village and kidnaps Mavinga. At times, even killing someone. The doctor, he killed my older brother. That doesn't sound like the doctor. You may have been confused, but the doctor doesn't do that. Ah, that pendant. You picked it up for me. Or you picked it up for me? Rather, since it's a question. Sue gave it to me. But I don't want it anymore. King gets bent out of shape when Sue and I get along. Please keep it. Huzzah! Oh, no, it doesn't say huzzah! Man, that was his slogan. That was his thing. How can they take huzzah out of this, ga this game? I found you. It's no use hiding from me. I've got the nose of a clever, a clever harrier. Okay. Indeed. Yes, he has the nose and the brain of a dog. Misery. I found her first. You two, you're with the doctor. Oh, you must be Sue. The great doctor has summoned you. Come along with me. Huh? But I'm not Sue. Ah! Balrog. The rest is up to you. I'm the wrong person! I told you! Not this again. I always have to clean up, and I'm the one who found her. Not Misery. So what's up? You want to fight me with that thing? With that little pea shooter? All right, well, this is an example of the game's decision ending. While this game, or this, this particular decision doesn't have any effect in the gameplay, other than you either get your first bat boss battle or you don't get your first boss battle, um, the other decisions in the game actually affect what ending you will have. And so, hopefully, if I remember correctly, um, I'll get the correct ending. So, 
Uh, might as well fight him. So let's go ahead and fight him. Understood. Oh, you don't do you even do any damage? I'll remember this. Defeated Balrog. Not to be confused with the Balrog from Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah. <laughs> Randy Savage. Um, okay, oh, oh yeah, I need a, whoa, lag much. Okay, let's go back in here, save for a little bit, yes. What did you say? Kuroko's been kidnapped? That's terrible. We have to inform King. You go do that. Well... Yeah, okay. Let's do this little thing. Grab the key, and then... I'll end the set for this point. Come here. I don't even know what you are. Are you like a knife-wielding bear? Because you look like a knife-wielding bear. I'm gonna call you a knife-wielding bear. Oh no, oh no! Oh no! Okay, I don't know if you can see that thing, but a little tiny little thing. Can I help you? No, not yet. But you will soon. Very, very soon. Arthur's Grave. Something is written on the headstone. Here rests the true Maminga hero, Arthur. Found Arthur's key. All right. And with that, I am going to end this episode of Cave Story. So, until next time, I'd like to thank you for watching. And I'll see you later. <laughs>